Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up OpenVPN on a VPS. If you're not familiar, VPS stands for Virtual Private Server. So this is gonna be a three-in-one tutorial. I'm gonna go through the process of doing this with the one-click installs on Vulture, DigitalOcean, and Linode. So if you're interested in one of those specifically, check the timestamps down below, and you can skip forward to that part in the tutorial. The steps are mostly the same. There's some subtle differences. So that's why I'm gonna uh, put these all into this one tutorial, uh, just so you know what to do specifically for whatever VPS you're interested in. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna get started with Vulture first. So I am logged in here to my Vulture dashboard. And what I'm gonna do is deploy an instance. Okay, so uh, I recommend a cloud compute. That's fine for your uh, OpenVPN server. And wherever you choose your server location is gonna be very important because that is what, that's where all your traffic is gonna come from. So if you're overseas and you want a server in the US, then I would recommend picking something like that. So right now, uh, we'll, we'll go over this a little bit later, but I'm in Arizona, so I'm gonna pick something um, like Miami. So I want all my traffic to come out of Miami on my OpenVPN server. As for the application type, there is a one-click install for OpenVPN, so we'll click on that. And then the server size, you know, they recommend at least, or the official OpenVPN documentation recommends at least one gigabyte of memory. Um, but I'm gonna go with this just in case, uh, you know, the more users you have connecting to your OpenVPN, the more memory and uh, bandwidth that you'll need. So I'm gonna go with the $10 per month plan, but you can pick any one of these that works for you. I'm gonna add my SSH keys here and then deploy the server instance. Now this will take a minute or so, so we'll fast forward through this. And about a minute later, we have our cloud instance deployed at this IP address. So what we're gonna do is click on this row here to look at the details for this. And we have uh, the IP address, I'm gonna copy that. Our username is root, and then we have our password here. So open up a terminal window and log in via SSH to the server. So SSH root at the IP address, hit enter. Yes, we wanna continue connecting and type in the password. So we'll get that password here, copy the password and paste it in. Now I'm just showing you this. Um, what I really like about Vulture is that they give you a default password for the admin user. And you can actually see that down here at the installation information. So here's your open server, open VPN server details. It's at this IP address. The username is this and the password is this. The, the problem I have with this is that they don't actually tell you specifically how to access the admin panel. And that is going to be this URL. So we'll open up a new tab plus colon 943 slash admin, okay? And that's gonna actually take us to the login page for the admin panel. And if you're using uh, any browser really, you're gonna get this connection is not private because of the SSL certificate. Um, if you can't get by by clicking a button and you're on Google Chrome, you can just type this is unsafe and that will bypass this warning message. And it's okay to do that because in this case, we just deployed the server and we're pretty confident that um, this is a, a trusted site. Okay, so like we said, the username and password is given to us right here. So we're gonna copy the username OpenVPN and then the password is this down here. Okay, so we'll sign into the admin server. Uh, we agree to the terms and conditions and this is your OpenVPN access server we are running version 2.8.8. And the really the thing that I wanna show you is how to uh, set up a user because your users are gonna be able to connect to this OpenVPN. So um, under here, under user management, user permissions, we want to add a new user and we can do that right here. So I'm gonna add my user, Tony, and look at his settings. We'll set a password and we'll allow him to auto log on. We'll save those settings and we'll update the running server. Now, as far as the server setup, that's all we need to know. So we'll go ahead and move forward to the next tutorial. All right, guys, let's set up an open VPN server on a Linode virtual private server. And we're gonna do this with the one click install. So let me show you how to do that. All right, in your Linode dashboard, click on create Linode. And what we're gonna to go to is the marketplace. And under here, you will you will see the OpenVPN server option. So we'll click on that. Now we'll have to fill out some information down here, like the VPN password. I'll go ahead and type that in. 
and the image, the only option you have is Debian 10, so we'll se select that. And the region, this is going to be important again because wherever you select your server location is where all of your VPN traffic is going to be routed through. So for this one, I'm in Arizona right now. I'm going to pick Georgia, Atlanta, Georgia. I want all my traffic to go through Atlanta, Georgia. Um, the minimum system requirements is one gigabyte of RAM, but I'm going to bump up to the two gigabyte plan just so I have enough for many, many users to connect to my open VPN. And then finally, a root password. I'll go ahead and type something in for that. And if you have SSH keys, you can associate those with your server too. Okay, so we'll create that Linode. This will take about a minute, so we'll fast forward through this. Okay, and about a minute later, we have our server up and running at this IP address. So what we're gonna do in order to access the OpenVPN admin dashboard is copy our IP address, open up a new tab, and go to HTTPS colon slash slash your IP address colon 943 slash admin. Okay, and uh, regardless of what browser you're using, you're gonna get this information, this error message, I'm sorry, that says your connection is not private. And unless there is a way, like a button that you can click to get by it, if you're on Google Chrome, you can bypass this. Uh, and it's okay to do this, just type on your keyboard, this is unsafe. And that will allow you to go to the login screen for the OpenVPN access server uh, to log in as admin. So this is the part where you need to know the default username, which in this case is OpenVPN. And then the password is something that we're gonna have to set uh, by logging into the server and setting it on the command line. So let's do that next. We have our IP address, so we'll copy that again, just in case it's not on your clipboard. And we'll do an SSH as root to your IP address of your server. Hit enter, type yes to continue connecting. And now we are logged into that remote server. Now, if you wanna change the password for the or if we want to set the password for the OpenVPN user, we can do a PASSWD OpenVPN. And this will ask us for the new password, so I'll go ahead and type that in. And I'll confirm that. Okay, and it says the password was updated successfully, so let's go back to the login screen and use the password that we just created for the OpenVPN user. And there we go. So let's agree to the terms and conditions. And now this is our OpenVPN access server admin dashboard running version 2.8.8. .8. And the only thing that we really have to do in here is come into the user management section, user permissions, and we're gonna add a user to allow that user to connect to our OpenVPN server. So the user for the, the username for him is going to be, or her, uh, Tony. Uh, we're gonna allow auto login for this user and we're gonna set a password for this user. Okay, and we'll save those settings and we'll update the running server. So that's it for this portion of the server side setup for OpenVPN. Let's move into the next topic, which is going to be DigitalOcean. All right, so let's set up an OpenVPN server on DigitalOcean with their one-click install. Let's hop on into it. So at my DigitalOcean dashboard here, what I'm gonna do is click on New Droplet and this is gonna take us to the page where you can configure that droplet. So what we're gonna do is go to the marketplace and search for OpenVPN. So let me do that here, OpenVPN. And we have a couple options here, but the one we want is the OpenVPN access server. So let's click on that. And you can pick uh, whatever plan you want. I think a shared CPU is fine for this. Uh, I'm gonna pick a regular Intel plan with two gigabytes of RAM and one CPU core. The minimum recommendation is one gigabyte of RAM, but I'm just covering my basis here with the two gigabyte plan. Um, now, as far as your data center region, this is gonna be important because wherever you choose your data center to be located is where all of your traffic is gonna be routed through. So uh, I'm in Arizona. I'm gonna pick, um, I'm gonna keep it with New York this time to see, uh, to have all my traffic routed through New York. Now, if you have SSH keys, you can select those. I'm gonna select my SSH keys here, and that's about it. So let's create this droplet. Take about a minute or so, so we'll fast forward through this process. All right, and about a minute later, we have our OpenVPN access server spun up on a DigitalOcean droplet at this IP address. And I actually find DigitalOcean to be one of the easiest options out of these three for helping you get set up with your OpenVPN access server because they have this get started guide right here, which kind of walks you through the process of what we're gonna follow. We're gonna log in to the server via SSH to do go through the setup procedure. 
Uh, we're gonna change the password for the OpenVPN admin user, and then we're gonna go log in via the user interface to the admin dashboard for OpenVPN. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and do that. We will copy our IP address, open up a terminal window, and log in via SSH as the re root user to this server. So SSH root at your IP address, hit enter. Are you sure you wanna continue connecting? Yes, that's okay. And this is gonna go through the, the setup script for OpenVPN. Do we agree to the terms and conditions? Yes. Uh, this says, will this be the primary access server node? Yes. What, uh, please specify the network interface and IP address to be used by the admin web UI. So uh, we'll go with the default, which is number one here. And this says, please specify the port. We'll go with the default as well. And TCP port, accept the default. Client traffic, default. And again, if you need to change these for your own use case, then please uh, don't accept the default. But for the most part, we will be selecting the default here for all of these options. Do you wish to log into the admin user interface as OpenVPN? Yes. Please specify your activation activation key. If you have one, that's great. Otherwise, you can use OpenVPN for free. So I'm going to leave that blank. And it's initializing the OpenVPN server doing its uh, final setup. And after that, we should be able to access, well, we'll change the admin password and then we'll be able to access the user interface uh, for the admin dashboard. So let's go ahead and wait for this to get done. Okay, there we go. So as you can see here, we can access the admin user interface at this URL. Uh, but first what we wanna do is set the password for the OpenVPN user. So we can do that with P-A-S-S-W-D, open VPN, hit enter. Enter a new Unix password. I'll type in a password for that. And I'll confirm that. Okay, so now we have our user, our password. Let's go ahead and log in. So we'll open up a new tab in our browser window. Hit enter. Uh, you will get this connection is not private. And if you're on Google Chrome, you can bypass this by typing in this is unsafe. Otherwise on other browsers, you might be able to bypass it with a click of a button. Now. OpenVPN is the user and the password is the password that you just typed. So type that in and sign in. Uh, we agree to the terms and conditions. And in here, we are now in the admin dashboard for OpenVPN access server. We're running version 2.8.5. And the only thing we have to do in here is add a user to allow that user to connect to our VPN server. So under user management, we'll go to user permissions. We'll add a new user. I'm going to call my user Tony. I'm going to allow auto login for Tony and under more settings, we want to set a password for this user. So I'll go ahead and type that in and we will save those settings. And one last thing here is to update the running server. And as far as server side configuration at a basic level, that's all we have to do. All right, guys, the final thing is to connect to the OpenVPN server from your local machine. And as you'll see here in a bit, this could be Windows, Linux, Mac, iOS, Android, any of those. They have applications pre-configured for all of that. So we're not going to do this for Linode, Vulture, and DigitalOcean because the process is pretty much exactly the same at this point. So we'll just pick one of them and uh, go through that process, but it'll be the same for no matter what VPS provider you're using. So um, I have all of my OpenVPN access servers here. This, is, this one is Vulture, this one is Linode, and this one is DigitalOcean. So let's do Linode. What we're gonna do to get to the client side of things is instead of going to the IP address colon 943 slash admin, we're just gonna to go to the IP address colon 943. So I'm gonna copy that, paste it into a new tab here. And this is where we can log in with the credentials that we created for the user, okay? So the user that I created on, on all of these was Tony, and I'll type in the password for that user. And after successful authentication, like I said, you can download, uh, you can connect to the VPN server on any of these platforms. So uh, I'm running, uh, I'm running on a MacBook here. So I'm going to download the option for Win or for Apple, and that's going to download this disk image here, DMG file. So I'm going to open that up, and it's going to verify it, and I'm going to install it by double clicking. Go through the installer setup, continue, continue, agree, install. 
type in, you'll get this pop-up, type in your password for your system, and that's gonna go ahead and install everything. Um, that's done, so uh, we will clean up the installation files, and now uh, on my MacBook, I can't see it, but I'm gonna open up VPN, open, I'm gonna open up OpenVPN, the application here, and I'll move it over to the screen once it's there. So here we go, this is what your profile is gonna look like. Uh, we have, um, well, the IP address of the one that we're working with is this one. This one was left over from a test before this video. So before I connect though, what I wanna do is show you my current IP address and my location and then what the OpenVPN server is gonna to do to that. So I'm gonna to go to tunnelbear.com. This is without a VPN server. I'm in Arizona and this is my IP address ending in 131. So let's go open the OpenVPN software. We'll connect to the OpenVPN server that we created for Linode. And let's figure out, I forget, where do we pick uh, for our location? This was in Atlanta, Georgia. So now that we're connected to the VPN, as you can see here, uh, we should be able to refresh the open or the tunnel bear website to see what our new IP address is and our new location is. So let's do that, refresh the page here, connect it to the VPN server. And now it's saying that from the perspective of this website, it thinks that we are located in Atlanta, Georgia, and this is our new IP address ending in 234. And it actually detected uh, in some way that Linode is our ISP. So you can do the same thing for DigitalOcean and Vulture and pretty much any other type of uh, hosting platform that you use for your OpenVPN server. Let me know if you have any questions about this in the comments below. I know it was a lot of information, but hopefully it makes sense. I wanna thank you guys for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to this channel for more videos like this from me in the future. And if you do, I'll see you in the next one.